Hi everybody, it's Taylor, a Star Pillows Lead Educator, and today I'm gonna to go over troubleshooting our Pine Rosin Free Black Hard Wax Formula. So I'm gonna go over the meltdown process, temperature, application, and consistency. So first you're gonna cut your warmer on and then turn your temperature setting up all the way. And then you're gonna start filling up your warmer halfway, let that melt completely down, and then add in more wax beads. All right guys, so I have my warmer filled up halfway. I'm gonna let that melt down completely for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'm going to add in more wax beads until I get that right consistency. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what black is like when it's too hot. It's completely melted down liquid. This is what I want to start filling up my warmer. Obviously you are not going to wax anybody like this. So I'm gonna start adding wax beads to it and fill it up to create the right consistency. So I like to do a scoopful at a time and just carefully stir in the beads. Make sure that you are not too aggressive so it doesn't splash up in your face. The clumps are completely fine. They will break down once you start adding in more beads. So I'm gonna clean up the edge with just a clean spatula and a little bit of oil. And then I'm gonna drop the temperature down and let this cool down until it reaches the right consistency. All right guys, so I got my black down to the perfect consistency. So, you take your spatula, come in at a 45 degree angle, swirl and scoop. It's a small ball, but it's a ball and that's how you know that this is the right consistency because it's not falling off of the stick. It's not dripping, it's not running, I'm just twirling. And when you stop twirling, obviously it's gonna fall off the stick, but it should drip like that. So now I'm gonna show you what a correct application looks like with black and I'm gonna show you incorrect application. So you start at a 90 degree angle, lots of pressure and pull that wax all the way down and then make a lip at the end. So you want your edges to be nice and even and with hard wax you can always go back over and make any strip corrections. So you have a thick, nice, even edge right here, a nice lip, even edge right here. And if you really wanted to, you can go back and get a little more wax and make that a little thicker, but it's not needed. And then now I'm gonna show you what an incorrect strip looks like. So if you go flat, you see already it stops spreading right here. So even if you come back up to spread that wax, it just gets super thin and you try to make a lip, but you can't. So that's why you always wanna come down at a 90 degree angle and pull that wax all the way down and then make that lip. Because if you go flat and spread it, you're gonna create uneven thin edges and this whole strip is gonna break. 
no matter if even if you have a lip right here all these thin uneven edges are going to crack all right so i let my wax cool down just to show you guys what it's like when it is not at the right uh, temperature so you see i go to scoop it and it doesn't really run if you went to apply this on a client it's going to set way too quick um, and it's going to set too quick it's going to break hairs and it's going to be very uncomfortable for your client so if your wax is doing this this is too cool so either adjust the temperature of your warmer or make sure you are stirring your warmer in case the wax at the bottom just isn't blended into the rest of the warmer but you see if you touch it it really doesn't come off that's how you know when your wax is too cool all right guys i hope these tips helps for our pine rosin free black hard wax formula as always, if you have any questions or need any further assistance, give us a call 305-907-0756 or email in at info at Bye.